Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Welcome back to some more Sogear, the shittiest, best visual novel ever. <laughs> so last episode we went, uh, all the homo. Yaranaika. So I went ahead and ignored, uh, Yankee chan and now I'm also going to ignore Classmate Kun. So let's see what happens. Alright, this time we're gonna play it real. My real name is... Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, all that. Blah 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 blah. Apollo Kojia Babe Cabal de Begdre no Chuske. You can call me Protect Hood for sure. <laughs> Cat damn it, dude. <laughs> and I have a problem. I don't want to tell it to people I've just met, but I have a XO disease. <laughs> what? Symptoms include extreme diarrhea and lots of fault. Oh, like literal XO disease. Well done, well done. I hope we can still be good friends. How about there? Thank you, random NPC girl chan. You have my thanks. So where do I sit? Er, uh, um, you can sit in the back next to... Ah, <gasps> yay! Protect could sit next to me, sensei this son. Son this, Whatever. A girl chan raised her hand and smiled warmly at me. Ah, uh, intro son. What a brilliant idea. You can also get protect on the tour of our school during lunch. Hi, this is... And as dictated by Sensei, I sat next to this short girl-chan, who seemed to be referred to as Injo-chan. She looked at me kindly again, and offered a handshake. Yoroshiku onigaishimasu! You can call me Injo-chan desu! <laughs> God. Let's get along from now on, Uki! <laughs> oh, now I'm regretting going through this choice. Yeah, <laughs> even the protagonist is like, uh. I took her hand and we shook, but she let out a giggle. What's so funny? She ceased and looked at me with admiration. You were cool up there. There aren't that many people that could give such amazing introductions on their first day of school, Nyan. <laughs> I see, thanks. <laughs> this girl was weird. Yeah, that's an understatement. But she sure knew what I like to hear. <laughs> she knew how to tug on my heartstrings. Oh, that was a lunch bell. Sounds like the school bell, but it's to signify this lunchtime. I stay seated in my chair in days, possibly from incoming hunger pains. Perhaps I should get something to eat? What are you doing, Desu? What? Oh, it's Incho-chan. Oh yeah, last episode, Protag couldn't call us, but now it's Incho-chan. I turned around and spotted the Incho-chan. Don't sneak up like that. I almost had a heart attack. Is that so? Oh, that's kind of a cute face. Protag couldn't has a weak heart, ne? <laughs> what? Anyways, why don't we tour around the school? Incho chan can share my bento with you after desu. Oh, okay. And so she took me on the school trip, gripping my hand rather tightly. <sighs> Some kind of romance is about to be born. The tour went by a lot faster than I thought, mostly because there wasn't much to see that I hadn't already seen anyway. When we arrived back to the classroom, I sat back down at my desk. Gosh, I'm even more hungry now. Have no fear, Incho chan's bento might. Bento is here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you have any place in mind for where we should eat together? I heard the roof is open today. Where should we eat? Where should we eat that suspiciously large looking bento? Like, why is it so large? <laughs> okay, here, safe and sound in the classroom, lunchroom, of course, or rooftop. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll go in the classroom. I think we should stay here. Oh, okay. Itadakimasu. And so we ate lunch in the classroom. Back in America, we ate fast food 24-7, but now I'm eating rice. Boy, do I miss hamburgers, fries, and KFC. I'm pretty sure they have it here too, but they probably don't have any mega-sized Coke Colas. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> I can I can guarantee that. I'm already feeling a bit homesick. Is the food not oishi, <laughs> God. Oh, what should I say? It's good desu. Stare at her chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Scared. Let's just go. It's good, Desu. What? No, no, it's very tasty. Yo, ah, uh, it's yokata. God damn it, man. Yokata ugu. <laughs> you had a stern look earlier, so I thought you didn't like it. Oh, that? I was just thinking about Marika. <laughs> Marika. <laughs> do you miss America? Miss America? How flattering. I do agree that I can pass Miss America. <laughs> Since I'm so good looking. 
but I do believe I misunderstood your question. Is this about me missing America? Hi, this is... <laughs> Which part of America do you miss? Hmm, I suppose the United States, but... <laughs> what a fucking smart ass. <laughs> I see, Nyang. But I hope you enjoy Japan more than America. I don't want to see you sad, so sad in you. Arigato ne. <laughs> Broken ass Japanese. She's being so nice again. And kawaii desu. Oh god, he's adopted this manner of speech. Oops, I think this is ai desu. <laughs> ai desu. <laughs> ai means love. And so lunch ended and the rest of the day passed uneventfully. After school, I walked home with Yinjo chan and we went our separate ways. Thus was the end of my first day of Japanese high school. Hey, we're establishing a nice relationship. Time skip! Three days later. A lot has happened within just a few days. I've been eating lunch with Yin Cho Chan every day since my first day here. As each day went by, I fell for Yin Cho Chan's kawaii-ness. She's small, kawaii, and yasashi. <laughs> small? <laughs> like small? <laughs> small? <laughs> small ka and yasashi. I like a girl who is yasashi. That means nice. And today I plan on confessing to- Whoa, that was quick dude. Three days? Come on man. It was all happening too far- Yeah, you can say that again. Okay, class is dismissed. As I left my seat, I spotted Yin chan Yo, Yin chan Oh, good afternoon, Protagon. I, I, I have something to tell you. Hmm? Could you say it again? I didn't hear you. I'll tell you tomorrow after school, actually. Never mind. God damn it. Get some balls, Protagon. Oh, okay. The next day. Uh, I'm so nervous. It took a while until everyone left after school. Only Injo chan and I were here together for after-school duty. I could see that Injo chan had already started doing something productive, unlike me. <laughs> okay. I got up from my seat to help also help her with the classroom duties, but due to extreme nervousness, I messed up every single task. Everything I touched expl- That's a problem, bro. <laughs> it's just like, hey, that's a nice looking BOOM! Sometime later. Just when we were almost done with our chores, Injo chan broke the silence. Protect-kun. Yes! What did you want to tell me, Desu? Um, I love you. I mean, <laughs> Hey, at least you got the Japanese right. I felt warm with embarrassment, caused by my attempt to speak broken Japanese. Hey, it wasn't broken. You got it right. I looked up to Incho chan and I could see that she was very surprised. Then there was silence. Protekun. Yes. I think I also feel the same way about- Yes! Achieved. So, does that mean we're dating now? Yeah. I'm so happy. Me too. Can I kiss you? No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and thus starts the beginning of my lovey-dovey high school life with Yin Cho-chan. Another month passed and we decided to go on our first date after school. It took you a month to go on the first date? Far out, dude. Uh, Japanese man after- Oh wait, I'm playing as an American, aren't I? Yeah, whatever. Class is dismissed. I get off my chair and headed towards Incho chan's desk. Let's go home together. Hi, Anata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that took me off. After being dragged out of the classroom by Incho chan we ended up in front of the train station. Which train station is that? I don't know. Why are we in the train station? She patted with her small mouth and looked adorably up to me with her giant anime eyes. <laughs> Ada, didn't we say we were going to a hotel today, Ugu? Did I? Oh, did I? I was in daze for the past few days since I've confessed to Incho chan and had our rose-colored Japanese high school school high school love life. N nailed that sentence. Perhaps I did make some empty-handed promises along the way. I shouldn't have kept her hopes high. Uh, oh, you you bet your blue anime hair I did. <laughs> Yatta nyan. <laughs> We both got onto the train and headed to the place in Japan where there were a lot of love hotels. Uh, that would be Shibuya. I didn't. I don't know why I suggested a love hotel. I don't even know why people even go into them uh, to have sex. Obviously, we finally arrived at the red light district. Oh snap! Is this happening? Do I have to censor stuff in this episode? I hope not. Right in front of us was the big hotel. Is it okay for us to go in our school uniforms? Eh? Oh, it's fine. We can tell them we're role playing. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen in Japan, guys. Oh, like cosplay. Ugu! <laughs> Don't say ugu like it's like. Oh my god, that that looks like a legit love hotel. And just like what Incho chan said, we passed through the front desk posing as cosplayers. That would never happen in Japan, but alright. 
Works every time. No, it's never worked. Yeah, Tanya. So, what should we do? Um, what do couples do in love hotels? It. Uh... I guess everything depends on fate. <sighs> Why the three episodes in a row? This fucking George Michael. No, I'm getting sucked into the George Michael syndrome. I can't do that. What did Fade say? Kiss, strip, or put in? <laughs> I mean... In a love hotel, you do all three of these in that order. But we're just gonna cut to the chase. Put it in. Let me put it in! Baka, it's too early! Why don't I warm up- warm you up first? What does that mean? It's a secret code for it'll be fun, yeah. Um, okay. Oh god, this is getting sexy. Now turn around and count to three, Yugu. Make sure not to peek ya. And just like the Incho chan said, I closed my eyes and spun myself around three times. When I finally stopped at the last turn, I opened my eyes. Oh. My. God. I thought I told you not to open your filthy eyes. There, right in front of me was my beloved Incho chan she pushed me onto the hotel bed when I opened my eyes. But when I looked into her eyes, they were lifeless. I Ito chan is something wrong? What's going on? Why are you pulling on your necklace? Come in nasai, protect kunya. I wanted to surprise you after so many years, Ugu. But it didn't seem like you remembered me, Desu. Remember what? Ara, so you really have forgotten, Desu. It's me, Yandere chan. Y Yandere chan? I was your childhood friend when you were still in Japan in elementary school, Nyan. Now that I think about it, I don't really remember my past because of some type of amnesia I got from my Six. <laughs> Whoa, so not only do we get exploding diarrhea, but we have a serious case of the amnesias. That sucks. I was so happy when you came back. So, so, so happy that I became your kanojo, Nyan. Oh god. But, Nyan... You've forgotten our childhood promise, protecting this. Oh my fucking god. Watashitachi no very important yakusoku. <laughs> that broken Japanese. I'll have to tell you my secret. The confession that you've forgotten after all these years, nya. Protekun, Watashi, I la. Loves you so, 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 very, very much, you if I weren't for you, I would still be an Ojo-sama. Now I'm a fucking Desu motherfucker. Desu, what? <laughs> Wait, I think there was one memory I'll always have nightmares of. I was confessed to by a girl when I was young, but she wasn't my type. She was too snotty and had a lot of money. I told her that if she had a bow and a necklace, I would date her to think that it was yandere chan I glanced back at the poor girl. Her tears streaked down her anguished face. If only Yadda made me fall in love with you. If only Yadda told me to change my personality. If only Yadda left for America after promising me to stay with me forever and ever and ever. Her shoulders were shaking and her fingers were snapping against her red necklace. Protakun, will you stay with me, Nya? Knowing who I truly am now, Desu? <laughs> well, oh, there's a no in there. Should we do- should we say no? Yeah, fuck it, no. Protect-kun, arigato ne? Wait, I said no though. The fingers on her necklace finally snapped the red cloth, just as though she herself had snapped. She hovers over me and takes from underneath the bed a large hatchet and a duffel bag. Oh god, w what are you doing? Something I've been meaning to do since I saw you, Desu. So we can be eternally together, forever and ever and ever, nya. So that we can sail the sea with our eternal love on a nice boat I've bought with my parents. <laughs> School days reference. Protekun, I stay with this. This is a nice boat. On this nice boat was a girl holding a duffel bag. She was by herself, but she climbed to the front of the ship whilst reaching into the duffel bag and pulled out. <laughs> oh, that school days reference. I love it. A young man's head covered in bright red blood. The blood was still fresh, leaving stains onto the younger girl's pristine clothes. She held the head up high and gazed fondly at the young man's. Do -do 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 -do. Just play the Titanic theme. 
Protekun, how is the view this? I hope you like it. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Titan. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> but maybe next time you should hold me, Yugu. Protagon, I love you, Desu. Yun did a true end. Game over. That was the Yun did a true end, I guess. God damn it, this game. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, then leave a like and uh, let me know if you want to see the next episode because I heard there's actually quite a bit of endings, so I'm kind of interested to see all of them. I think next episode we're going to try and get the Yankee Sun ending, whichever one comes first. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like, faith, enjoy. Subscribe for any of them. See you guys next video, whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Tell me!